Minister, what are Britain's key messages to the Manama Dialogue this year? Well, the Prime Minister has just been here uh, addressing the GCC conference meeting with leaders in the Gulf, and it's to reaffirm our long-term commitment to broaden and deepen the uh, alliances we have in this area. We've been uh, having a relationship with Bahrain specifically for over 200 years uh, based on trade. That's broadened out to health, education, renewables, and of course, defense and security. So the security and defense of the Gulf uh, of the region is very, very important indeed. And this dialogue allows us to discuss these things, to bring voices together, uh, to make sure that we're able to put in perspective what the solutions are. A lot of conflicts are taking place, a lot of friction is happening. Uh, we need to find those solutions. And so Bahrain is uh, to be commended on, uh, on hosting this important event. Do you think Britain's voice is heard when it comes to dealing with some of the difficult issues of this region? I think absolutely. I mean, on, on one level, the uh, trust that we have, that we uh, try and endeavour to uh, develop between the, the nations uh, allows us to have frank conversations with some of the challenges that are actually taking place. But it also allows us more collectively, from a regional perspective, to see how we can use our soft power to bring uh, necessary stakeholders to the table to find solutions. Yemen is a great example of that, where we are working very closely with the UN envoy, Ismail Ahmed, uh, to, and President Hadi, to get the Houthis back to the table. In fact, none of these uh, challenges that we're facing in the Middle East will be defeated by military means alone. We have to find solutions. We have to be able to, for example, in defeating Daesh, defeat the ideology of that. That won't be done on the battlefield. That will be done by working with nations, uh, particularly in the Gulf, uh, to find those solutions. Just on that specific conflict and others in this region, it has been suggested by your boss recently that some key players are more interested in conflict than cooperation. Do you share that view? Well, we need to recognize that, uh, let's say, for example, in, uh, in Yemen, um, Saudi Arabia has not conducted uh, sustained uh, campaigns warfare before. This is very new to them. Um, they're a conservative nation. They're now recognizing the importance that uh, supporting President Hardy legitimately through UN Security Council 2216 uh, is important, but ultimately, as I was saying, the solution to Yemen is bringing people around the table to supporting the roadmap, and Saudi Arabia is, is very much supporting of, of that. But of course, there are two players in, the, in that conflict and, and in others in this region. Absolutely, and uh, the Houthis are part of Yemen, but they will also recognize that if we want to provide a secure and safe and prosperous Yemen, then they need to uh, recognize that they must come to the table as well. The real tragedy of Yemen is the fact that there are over 20 million people who are affected by the civil war. Uh, we want to get our humanitarian aid in. We want to get the port of Hadedia open. These things can only happen when people uh, recommence the talks that uh, UN envoy is proposing. Just finally, do you think that the war against ISIS is being won in this region, or are they merely regrouping for a different kind of conflict? Well, you're right in, in, in the way you phrase the question, that if we don't defeat uh, the ideology, then it will regroup. Um, what we're fa facing in Iraq at the moment is a resurgent al-Qaeda. We weren't able, in, uh, back in uh, 2004, 2005, making sure that the uh, moderate Sunni voices were heard, that gave space to, to al-Qaeda. When al-Qaeda was then defeated, uh, we then didn't make sure that those voices continued to be heard, and that rose uh, gave rise to Daesh itself. We may defeat Daesh again, Mosul is about to be liberated itself, but where there is a vacuum of power, whether it be in Nigeria with Boko Haram, whether it be in Somalia with uh, al-Shabaab, unless we have good solid governance there with opportunities for the young in particular uh, to give them hope for the future, then this extremism in the form of Daesh or other, other you know, future generations uh, of uh, Islamic extremism will be the challenge we face. And we must work together to do that. And that's why Britain is part of the 60 Strong Coalition, working together, not just on a military capability, but working for stabilization, humanitarian means, uh, defeating the messaging on the, on the internet, but also encouraging good and fair governance. And that is absolutely critical. Minister, thanks for your time. Thank you very much indeed.